Hello everybody! Can you see me? Is my head cut off? <laughs> Sarah's telling me where to go. Okay, just... Right here? Uh, over just a time. This way? <laughs> okay. Or am I just hula dance? There. Okay, I'm gonna grab my tablet so I can see who's with us. If I don't crash everything down. Alright. What's everybody been doing this week? Okay, I guess I'm not connected to the internet on this one. Oh well. So. Are you sure you're live? Is it showing yet? Yeah, it's, it's live. Okay, Bonnie's here. You're from, how you doing, Bonnie? I did find a whole bolt of brown solid and I'll be showing it today. So that's good for you, right? Well, I wanted to start the time by showing you, um, first of all, I wanna ask one of you two to get me a device so I can see people's com comments. Maybe your phone. Um, one's over there. But I wanted to show you guys something that my grandma's been doing with um, the little pieces that are left over when we cut fabric. I'm kind of proud of her. So there's strips left over of all different sizes, as you can see here. And being a frugal person, she didn't want to throw them away. And at first she was going to make a braided rug but the strips were just too varied as far as width to really use it. So she decided that she was gonna make a crazy, crazy quilt. And that's how she described it. So let me show you some of the blocks she's come up with so far. And she's gonna actually cut these down into smaller sections and patchwork them into a, a quilt. But here's one of them, isn't that pretty? Showing some of the fabric. She hasn't actually ironed them all yet. But just say, so for an example, here's, she kind of matches the colors up. And there's skinny ones and thick ones. So let me show you a few more of what she's done here. It feels pretty. Have you guys ever done that where you just do a completely random? If you don't want anymore. One. Ooh, this one's bright and cheery. Isn't that pretty? So she's just gonna cut them in. I don't know exactly what her plan is as far as cutting them up or what sizes. What do you think of that? I thought that would be a little taste of some of our fabric that we've been showing to you guys. How are you guys liking these shows? Hope you yell to the rooftops. Yay! So as I said in the introduction, share batik or actually hashtag batik fabric and with no spaces to your your page or your friend's page or a group that allows it. And then you will be entered into a drawing and Jackie's getting her strips of paper ready right now to put the names in. But you have to let us know in the comments because we don't always see it um, automatically. So just put in um, batik fabric in the comments as well. Okay? So now I can see you guys. Hi Gwen. Benji. Oh, and also a new thing that we'd like to have you guys do when you put the item number down, if you could type in bold, I mean in uh, capital letter sold, that'll help us to see your comment better that you want something. So, show you just a few more of these. It feels pretty. Just from the scraps. That's all just scraps. That's just stuff we had left over right at the end of the, whatever we were cutting out. 
couple more here. So that I hope that gives you a little idea of how creative you can be even without a pattern. She just kind of bought this up. <laughs> you know, some are wider at the top and skinnier at the bottom. She said it was a crazy, crazy quilt. So she's been really having a lot of fun with it. And she's got one more done. Lots more to go. Okay. Let me set those aside. Just set those right here. And now what I wanted to, let me see, I forgot my cheat sheet here. So today we're going to feature by the yard items, um, half yard minimum, and it will be $12 per yard. And then fat quarter bundles, three piece, um, they're $10. Maybe I should show you guys this. And then three yard bundles. One yard per fabric, $36. And we're gonna have, um, we're gonna show you a couple layer cakes and a couple of charm, well, one of each, a layer cake and a charm pack. And with the caveat that we have three families of colors um, together. And so you can tell us family one or family two or family one and family three, if I, you know, however you want, if you want to create a layer cake and a charm pack. Um, and we'll do that for you. So that is $10 for the charm pack and $39.50 for the layer cake, which is 10 by 10. So let me show you those right now. Now this particular one, I didn't put a number on. Um, can you grab me a number? I don't know where the numbers are. So this is from the um, two different families. I think it's Lakeside and do you remember what they were um, called? Lakeside and River Uzi. Uh, Down by the river? Yeah, uh, on the docks. On the docks. Lakeside and on the docks. So you're going to get two of each color, except for one of them will be duplicated or we'll put one in that's, that's um, similar from something different. So it's number 94 for this layer, for this charm pack for $10. And here's an example of some of the ones. Oh, I think I missed one there. Okay. And then that. Maybe I should have Sarah hold the phone up for me. <laughs> Here, I'll grab it. We, we were scrambling. I couldn't find my car keys. I had the other holder in my car. So, oh, I didn't turn that light on, did I? Can you see me better now? Or the fabric? I guess that's the most important, seeing the fabric. Oh. Am I too far away? No. Um, oh, someone asked sorry. a question? Yeah. Uh, what is it? Well, Gwen asked, is that a layer cake? Yeah. This one, the bigger one is a layer cake, a 10 by 10. This one's a 5 by 5, and it's a charm pack. And this charm pack is $10. And So there we have it. That's some of the colors. And then we have the same colors in the layer cake. You can tell the difference in size. And the layer cake is 10 by 10, 39.50. And the layer cake is, what? what's the number for layer cake? Oh. So charm pack is 94. And just to let you know, we do have yardage of this, of all these colors, but we don't have them numbered individually right now. And Sarah's grabbing me another number for the 
layer cake. We it can't say F Q on it. Uh oh. Do you have any others? We you can just fold the F Q. Okay. So it's gonna be number sixty nine. Number sixty nine for that and ninety four for the charm pot. Okay. So now I'm gonna go right into three yard bundles. What do you say? Now remember, share and say hashtag batik fabric, but all one word, and then tell us in the comments batik fabric, and then we'll enter you for the drawing at the end. And for the drawing, we'll we'll do a drawing if we have 50 or more viewers. So here we go. Number 397. We have this really fun tangerine color with um, cheerful flowers of yellows and a little bit of green and blues. It's number 397. Am I in the wrong spot? Well, you were just holding it low, low, low. Is this better? Yeah. Last week I put an X on the floor. I was cheating. Okay, here's our real pretty mixer light blue. And it has leaves on it. If you can see that, it's kind of a mottled background. And then this one has larger, looks like tulips with dots. And it's got a darker mottled background. If you want to see all those together, it's $3.97. So these um, are $36, $12 a yard. Okay, now number $4.96. We have this grayish blue background with the large leaves in a kind of a dark, real dark gray, the green overtone and a model background. Looks pretty. And then we have scrolls on a navy blue background. And there's a little bit of lavender in there, you know, real dark, darkish lavender. <laughs> Very technical term, you know. And then here's our light mixer with some kind of gray accents, real light blues and some lilac. And of course your fern leaves. That is number 496. We have three of those. I mean, actually, we have two of those left. I forgot to tell you how many we have. Okay, next one is going to be 227. I don't know about you, but I really like these. Um, grays and blues. Can you grab that? This one look reminds me of pebbles or um, pebbles or bubbles with the gray background and the baby blue. Then we have flowers with uh, white, white, blue, and you know teal colors, and then a different kind of flower. I wish I knew all the flower names. Do any of you know all the flower names? <laughs> There's gray background, so they really mix nicely. Two twenty-seven. There we go. Is there a question? Well, it's not saying all the comments on here. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Maybe there aren't any more. What does there Vanessa is. say? Um, she was working, working on, on Halloween projects and getting ready for mm. Christmas. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, I bet you a lot of us are. Okay, what? I'm working okay. on Halloween projects oh, and yeah. Christmas <laughs> projects. Okay, I'm going to move on to a little bit of yardage here. And then we'll come back to the three bundle fat quarters. And we also have 
I mean, sorry, three bundle for yardage, and we also have some fat quarters. So this is that first family I was talking about. And Sarah, actually, if you could come and hand those to me, that, and I'll keep that near me. So this is a black solid, but of course it has a mottled look to it. And it's number one. So give me number two. Okay, and we could set this, we'll set this right here. Maybe not. <laughs> okay, and then this is number two. Wynn wants to know if the uh, the fabric in the three yard bundles can be bought separately. At this, yes, it can. Um, but at this point, we don't have them numbered separately. Um, so that would be pretty hard without numbering them separately. So I think we'll keep them as bundles until we kind of break them up. We plan on mixing and matching and stuff. So for those that like the three yard bundles, We'll do it that way, and then we'll eventually break them up. Is that a good answer? <laughs> okay, so this is number two. And you can grab it before I'm in. Okay, here's number three. And there's ten in a family. Dark brown. So it's a dark brown with some golden branch type things. You guys, I'm out of words already. It's crazy, right? Okay, so it's actually got um, rust colors. It's real pretty. And number four makes me think of Starburst. So but you can get these in yards, however many yards you want, and you can mm -hmm. also get them in uh, the charm packs or the layer cakes. Yes, um, Jackie's a little farther away today, so hopefully you heard her. You can get it in yardage, half yard minimum. You can get it in charm packs um, as the families, or layer cakes, or a fat quarter, or however many fat quarters. So this one is number four. And here we have number five. We have a real light purple, almost white, and then it's got the purple swirls, kind of random looking. That's number five. And then in number six, our six is sideways, we have a pink background with branches or leaves actually with uh, turquoise, bright greens, and they kind of fade, a little bit of lighter pinks in it. Hopefully our lights are showing you the colors good, well. So then we have number seven here. Oh, Sarah, you want to move that other light over here? Okay. Um, number seven is a solid. It's a deep burgundy or magenta yeah so <laughs> you should see Sarah trying to move the light okay number seven that's better okay. that's showing it better okay here we have number eight yeah, and this is a purple with beautiful flowers and just looks so fun. Darker purple flowers. These are all anthology. Well, most of them. Some of them are majestic. Okay, number eight is that one. Oh, this is nine. Yep, we put that upside down. So oh. number Here's number nine. It's a solid lilac. And again, you can get this um, by yardage and fat quarter and so forth. Your choice, okay? And don't forget to share. If we get up to 50 viewers, we're going to have a giveaway at the end. This is number 10. We have a dark, 
navy background with a real bright, well, not super bright, but a bright pink. Tell them if they get the if they get a layer cake or the um, charm packs, mm -hmm. they'll get two of each color, and then one of them they'll have uh, extra two. Yeah, like we said before, if with layer cakes and charm packs, you get two of each color, and then one extra that we throw in, either um, repeating one of those colors or from a different one that we have that matches. Okay, so that was the first family. One through 10 is the first family. Here's 11, and we have blue and green background with white colored are the, I think those are florals, aren't they? Rosebuds, maybe? Is that what you thought? Yeah. That's pretty. Am I showing enough of the fabric? The, the lighting is dark. Lighting's not working out? Should we turn this off? I think that changes the color. The fabric is much brighter than what it's it should. It's real bright. Like this one's real vibrant. It's number 12, a solid, and it has um, greens and teals. Reminds me of water, the ocean just roaring at the beach, nice sunny day, or a baby's room. Number 12, ooh, she's surrounded me by bright lights. Is that better? Number 13, this one has a real light cream background, almost white, and it matches the rosebuds of the other one with more greens and lime green. A little bit of blue in it. Is that showing good? Yeah, it's better. Okay, a little bit. Maybe it's my screen. Might be your screen. Okay, number 14. Are there any questions or comments? Here's a real pretty blue with the white branches. It looks like little berries or something on the end. So we're almost halfway through the second family of colors. Number 15. It's a black I'm pretty sure that's pretty much black background with a real pretty deep blue. Kind of has a slight purple hue to it, not really. I love this one. 15. You, you can see the comments on here, but you can't on the other one. Oh, that's so oh. funny. Yeah. Do you have any comments for me? Um, and number 16 is a solid with purples and blues. Sarah's checking through the comments to see if I missed anything, which I very well could have since I can't see your comments today. So number 17 is again the rose petals or the rose buds. And it has a vibrant, um, bright blue background. And you see, every so often you can see some pinks. And then the white aqua. You guys need to talk to us. Okay. Here we have a solid again, number 18. It's a real vibrant blue. Real pretty. Number 18. Almost has kind of a purple hue to it because every once in a mm -hmm. while you see some purple in it. Do we have Sammy with us today? She loves blues. Let us know if you've watched us before. Here's number 19. I know Gwen 
and Bonnie. Those are the only names I saw before I came to this side. Um, so we have, this is kind of Hawaiian flowers. Somebody tell me the actual name of that flower. I think it is Hawaiian. I don't know. I know there's which the flower. <laughs> yeah, which flower? <laughs> this one right here. Oh, is that an orchid? I don't know. Yeah, it looks like an orchid. This kind of makes me think of tribal. Tribal, it has the triangle things. And... So that's number 19. And our final one in this family. Can you come push these over so we can get to the next one? Oh. Is number 20. And this oh, is a. Um, sorry. A bit, Hibiscus. Oh, Arita said oh, that's it. That's what I was going to yeah. say. Hibiscus. But I didn't, yeah, I almost said hibiscus, but I was second guessing myself. Okay, so um, this is number 20. And it's kind of floral, but it's also swirly scrolls and things. So number 20. Okay, now we're gonna go back to some three yard bundles. You can just push them from that side. Okay. Catch. Tell them the buying options again. Oh, Jackie said to remind you of the buying options again in case some new people showed up. So, by the yard is half yard minimum, which are the bolts we just showed, and then we have um, $12 per bolt per yard, not bolt. <laughs> And then we have fat quarter bundles that we'll be showing. They have three pieces in them and it's $10 for those. And then the three yard bundles that we're in the middle of showing is our $36. Layer cakes are $39.50 for 42 pieces. Charm packs are $10 for 42 pieces. So charm packs are half or five by five and layer cakes are 10 by 10. And again, you can request your own charm pack. So we have, we just have the two blues cut out so far. Um, and I just dropped my numbers. The, this one's 94. And 69. And 69 is this one. But you can create your own, not, um, not with random numbers, but in the line of 1 through 10 is one family. 11 through 20 and then 21 through 30 is going to be the third family that you can choose from if if you'd and, like and to you shoot they can mix like first family and second family. yeah you can choose whichever families you want um, we only need two to create those okay so let's get right on to some more three yard bundles we have four of these available this one is 355 30 okay. 335. <laughs> Sarah, let me know that. Okay. So we have a um, grayish blue in the background with some olive green and dark flowers. We already saw this in another bundle, I think. And then here is a real dark navy blue background. And we, we see some tans, almost tan and greens here with the lighter blue. Lots of florals. More like a, a gray. Almost Seeing like. some gray? Yeah. Yeah. More gray. And then here's another gray with, you can see just a highlight of a little bit of yellows and, well, tans mostly. Brown. So we have 335 on this and we have four available. So snap them up while we have them because they're, as soon as these are gone, they're gone. So shipping is going to be um, for up to two and a half yards, it's 775 because as we know, um, shipping has gone up a little bit and then it's 850 um, above 
two and a half yards. And then if you order $100 or more, we will cap it off at $850 and we won't charge you the rest. So um, for $850, it would, we can fit nine and a half yards in a, in a package, but we'll cap it off. Does, do you have a question? Um, Gwen Settle asks, 335 was that a fat quarter bundle? Um, no, these, these are still the um, one yard bundles. 335 for one yard. Three yard bundle. Well, yes, I'm sorry. I said that wrong. <laughs> They're three yard bundles with one yard per fabric. $36. Yep, $36. Okay, we'll do a couple more one yard bundles and then it sounds like you want to see the fat quarters, so I'll get some of those out. Okay, this is number 463. We have two of them available and it's a light baby blue with a light yellow and a light pink floral. And then um, the pink floral. <laughs> Ready? And then we have our blue. That is, is that a floral? Is this the flor flower right there? Yeah. Thanks. So. Kind of maybe. Yeah. <laughs> See on the other side. I think we have flowers in there and it's kind of purplish right here there's some darker colors and hopefully you can see it well so this is number 463 and we just have two of these left okay um, mommy should we mention the Wanna giveaway come, oh come on over here well we don't have the giveaway to show them yet. Okay. What do you want to tell them? Well, I was just going to mention the giveaway again. So, once we get to 50 people, yep. we're going to do a giveaway. So, you put in hashtag Batik Fabrics if you share. So. Yeah, and then, so put that um, in our comments. And even when you share, that'd be great. Okay, that helps us grow and get out to a bigger audience. And then we can bring you lots and lots more fabric. Okay, so this one is number 294. We have two of these available. We have our real pretty lime green and bright lemon yellow and then a dark navy background, kind of a periwinkle blue, some tangerine. It's just an all-around fun fabric and then we have a solid tangerine and a bright yellow with floral daisies daisies okay so 290 what was it uh, it's a test four. 294 let them know that we actually have a whole lot more fabric, but we're not going to show it all. Oh, yes. Yeah. We have tons of fabric in stock, and we're just going to stream it out to you. Each, we're going to kind of drip it like a dripping faucet. No. <laughs> so you, you don't, we don't overwhelm you all with everything at once. Oh, okay, I'm going to do one more of these, and then we'll go to fat quarters. I almost forgot. So we have two of these left. It's number 388. And this is a Christmas tree, as you can see, with a red background. And it has greens and whites for the Christmas tree. And then a real pretty green floral. Dark green with lighter. You know why I'm doing this, you guys? Jackie told me I need to describe them better, and I'm just stumbling all over my words, so. It's all her fault. <laughs> I can say that because she's my mom. <laughs> Actually, you're not supposed to talk to your mom like that, are you? Sarah knows that, right? She never talks to me like that. OK, 
Okay, so this is um, nice and dark with lighter greens, florals. What? Which flower is this? It's a test. It looks like a posy. A posy. Mm -hmm. Hope. There's different ones. What? Though. Yeah, there's different ones. <laughs> so what? Yeah, there's more of a test, you know. So um, multiple flowers. <laughs> what's the old song again? A pocket Ring around the rosies, pocket full of posies. posies. <laughs> ashes, ashes, we all. Okay, so here we have some swirly, fun ones that go with the Christmas tree, real nice. Red background with your teals and your greens and your yellows and here they all are together number 388 we have two of those okay and now ta -da -da, we'll do the fat quarters or at least some of them okay for fat quarter number one we have two of these left, and it's number 400. You know, if you guys could, if you're doing a fat quarter, if you could put FQ at the end, we forgot to do that, that would really help us out. So if you, you know, whatever yardage you have, tell us the yardage or the what type of bundle it is in your comment, that would really help. So we have this rust color with the greens and yellows here's a nice picture of one of the flowers what flower is that <laughs> just kidding okay and then here's a kind of a it's not a bright yellow but it's bright sun enough sun yellow sun yellow and with a harvest yellow it's real pretty with kind of a starburst, but I'm sure it's petals of flowers or something. And then we have this one. I'm sure you could see the pattern a little better if it was open. What do you think? It might just be random. Turn it around. I think there's some pink in there too, isn't there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this one is number 400. We have two of those left, and this is a fat quarter bundle for $10. Okay. And number 480 is this teal with greens and blues. Boy, we really have a lot of floral, don't we? I better start studying the names of things. Okay, and a purple with dots. Tell them we have some nice fall colors too. Yeah, we have, uh, our last family is fall colors. And we have look, tons more. I'm looking up because we have them all up there. A lot of them up there. Okay, so that's the second one of that. And then this one has shells on it. And it's number 480. We have seven of those. And these are fat quarters. So just put FQ on it if you would like. And remember, comment sold in capital letters so we can make sure to catch your comment and not miss anybody. Okay, and now we have 285. We have four of these available. This is a fun whimsical spiral the pink background and then this one has pineapples on it how fun is that light cream with pinks and teals and some purples and then we have a blue dot background with pinks and yellows and that was number 285 FQ with four of them oh they <laughs> dropped it 285 FQ okay, 
we go. Now here's a bright yellow one. 392, we have two of these. So you have your large dots. Oh, I think I missed one of them. Sorry, I missed one. Large yellow dots with an orangey background. Bright yellow solid. And then a real pretty pink with purples and oranges. So all together they look like this. $3.92 for $10. I love that one. Yeah, isn't that pretty? You could do so much with it. Did you all see the quilt that my grandma's starting to make? So these are just the fall off of things that were, you know, after we cut something, we have a little bit left over and she's been zipping them together, no matter what size, she calls it her crazy, crazy quilt. And then she's gonna cut these down into different shapes, probably squares. Isn't that fun? You could make yourself a skirt, bring the 60s back. I still have a memory when I was about three years old of my mom wearing a jean skirt and she had patchworked, quilted it, and it had all kinds of squares of different colored fabric on it. And she used to wear bell-bottom pants and they, they um, dragged on the floor so they'd get frayed, and that's coming back. But Gwen said she had uh, to tell Grandma that, that she'll buy those. <laughs> <laughs> I know, aren't they beautiful? And look, here's the turtles. Like those turtles. I love it. And she, she took a long time. She cut the strips to what she could use. And then she um, ironed everything really meticulously. I don't know how many hours that took her but she's been just working away at it okay here's our next fat quarter bundle we have seven of them number 305 fq oh. here we have a buttercream real light cream background with um aren't these large daisies or chrysanthemum maybe you guys are going to give me a complex now. I feel dumb. <laughs> Sarah's giving me a silly look. Okay, so anyway, this has blues, greens, and purples. Real faintly on the flowers. And then another floral with the gray background. Grayish green. Yeah, grayish green with, here's some lots of grayish green. That's the best way to describe it, isn't it? And some bubbles. Gray bubbles on a light blue background. Light green. Green. That's green. green. <laughs> this is blue. See, every time I think something that looks blue, she says green. I think our eyes are different. Yeah, so they, are, they all have three have green. There is 305. For ten dollars, fat quarters. Three hundred five FQ. So, what color range are you looking for, Gwen? Um, here's the two forty five. Can you guys all tell us what your favorite color ranges are, so we can kind of plan ahead for next time? This is um, a bright yellow and green and teal and a bit of purple looks like pond flowers to me or lily pad type and then here's more of a light tan with some yellow and brown and then we have a bright yellow and green and teal and purple 
So, ow, I got myself. Did you see I got smarter on the bolts and put tape instead of pins? Okay, so this one is number 245. Doreen asks if she can get a layer cake with the two, um, the first two color families. Yes, yes, we can do that. So just um, put sold and then write out your request. So it's number one through 20 for that. Okay. And yeah. why don't you go ahead and, and do the, the last one yeah. of the bolts. Okay. She wants me to move on to some more bolts. <coughs> this is, oh, this one's actually not part of the bolt, but I'll show it to you. This is not part of the next family. Um, this is a solid brown, um, number 418. They say solid, but it's modeled. Yeah, they call it solid, but. It's just like the black we saw, it has some modeling to it. Okay, maybe you could hand these to me. Okay. Number 21 is this one, and it's the first one of the third family. So you can get it in fat quarters, yardage. Individual fat quarters are $3.50. This has a real nice green background with some floral, I mean, uh, leaves, viney mm -hmm. leaves. What, what like, colors would you say? Uh, like, See, it's hard on the spot, isn't it? <laughs> salmon. Like, like a yeah. salmon color. Salmon colors. Yellow. Kind of a lilac. Yellows. I don't know. Mustard Maybe. yellow. <laughs> So that's number 21. Can't remember what CC stands for. Oh, we lost. Oh, there it is. Number 22 is big flowers with lots of um, concentric lines. Those are fun. And it kind of makes squares if you look at it. You can kind of see that. This one's a square, and this one's a square. Kind of starts over after that. These were made with, I think it was wooden stamps with wax to make the coppers, copper stamps. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So made the, the old-fashioned way in Indonesia. In Indonesia. So we have browns, rust colors, yellows, so on. Number 22. How many of you guys were here last time and I did the hokey pokey? I, <laughs> I haven't actually seen myself yet. I probably looked silly. This set is called the Corner Cafe. Oh, this, uh. this um, family has a name. It's called the Corner Cafe. 23 is this one. And they actually did the other two families. The middle no. family had. Well, I mean, oh, banks. um. Is the first one all the same? Banks. Number 11 through 20 was was Banks. B A N K S. Oh, right? I think we kind of mixed those up. Oh, that's right. We kind of ad, um ad lived on that one. But this one's an actual line. So number 23, we've got our vibrant rust color, not quite rust, but yellows, lilac, greens, brown, tan, kind of the whole gamut. 23, here is 24. Trees. Let you think that's bamboo? I was thinking it was bamboo. I don't know. Got kind of orangey colors with bright yellow, and then an orchid color. Look pretty. Twenty-four. 
Here's 25. We have some leaves falling. They almost look like stars. And then some bigger leaves. This is kind of a mauve mottled background you with want, some browns. You want, if you want layer cakes or charm pack of, of this set, then you, you, you would get four of each. Oh, I, I thought we were going to let them pick two families. Well, I'm just saying, if they, if they want to do it from this one. Oh, yeah. If, if any of the families, if you'd like just one family, we can do that. It's still going to be 42 pieces, though. You don't have to pick two families. Okay, here's yellows, tw number 26. Nice big floral petals, chrysanthemums probably. So you have your oranges, yellows, greens. Aren't these beautiful fall colors? Is it still fall where you're at? I know last night we had our first frost and everything that was very alive the day before became dead. We had some cucumbers still growing and tomatoes and squash and they all just pretty much bit the dust. So those, that's the same pattern but in different colors as the yellow. Yeah, this is, I don't know if you, can you guys hear Jackie okay when she talks? These are the same pattern as that last one we showed but just different colors. So we have our mauve kind of almost brown background and then here's some Wedgwood blue and more of a teal blue. Greens. Lots of greens. Lots of green. <laughs> so pretty. <laughs> Not blues, greens. <laughs> well see right here. Okay. She's teasing me again. Okay number 27 was that one. Here's number 28. Another viney one with a brown background and greens and blues <laughs> <laughs> and yellows. See the yellows over here. So pretty. So did you guys share what your favorite um, family color families are or um, what you're working on that would help you if we showed a family color or color family I said that backwards next time here's number 29 and I think that's bamboo and it's the same pattern as one of the other yeah, yeah. The set. yep and it's the greens and the yellowy green and here's a little bit of Wedgwood blue down in avocado places. green Avocado green. Okay, 29. You know, Jackie named every single one of our thread in our thread line. There's 208 colors. And she spent days thinking up all those names. Number 30 is a lighter green with browns in the floral. And tans. See a little bit of yellow in there. This is number 30. So that's the end of the third family. And again, you can get charm packs, which are five by five, or you can get layer cakes, which are 10 by 10. This or one's yardage. Or, fat or yardage or fat quarters. It's your choice. This one's $10 for 42 pieces. This one's $39.95 for 42 pieces. You can choose two families to make those out of or one family. And we'll just give you more of each color. Okay, now we're gonna do a few more um, three yard bundles. So we have number 339 here and we have five available. Here's your real nice vibrant orange. Those are daisies, right? Maybe. Up a little. Mm -hmm. So 
So that was number 339. Here's a brown with tan. And then our light buttercream with oranges and greens, light green, kind of yellow. So here's what they look like together. I don't see blue at all. I didn't say blue. Oh, I thought you said, okay. I don't think I said blue. I could have said blue. Okay, 339. And we have, what, five of these. Okay. And then here is number 441. There's four of these available. We have our deep greens, avocado green and yellows and tans. That would go with um, the third color line, the corner cafe also. Yeah, mm -hmm. that would, did you hear her? She said it'd go nicely with that last family of fabric we just showed. And then here's another type of green. That's pretty. <laughs> you like that one, Sarah? Mm-hmm. Okay, and then here is a brown with a yellow floral, and here we have all three together. 441. And, four. and Sarah said, there's how many? Four. Four available. Ow, I stuck myself again. <laughs> okay. Oh, Gwen asks, are those yardage or fat quarters? Yep, these ones are yardage. So the fat quarters, mm -hmm. just for size comparison, these, these are the fat quarters and then these are yardage. And Gwen, <laughs> we, we could, if you wanted a bundle of this, and we still had some left over, we could cut one down into fat pork. We don't have. What? Those, that stack that you asked me what it was, the stack of, of oh, um, that's what's left of the. But do you want to, if we don't sell all these, can we cut them into a fat quarter? Yeah. 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 So if we don't sell all of these and you wanted fat quarter instead, we could cut those down. Okay. So 370, we have four of them. And this is a bright pinkish red with a deeper um, burgundy background with a floral. And this one matches perfectly with our olive green floral. And then last but not least, a more cheery pink. And here they all are together. This is a three yard bundle I love for that $36. Pack. This is one of Jackie's favorites. Number 370, we have four of them. Number 370. Okay, here's another Christmas one. Has a little bit different colors in it, except for the Christmas tree. Four thirty-nine, and there's just this one. So Gwen mm, said, sold for three yard bundle, three seventy. Okay, and then so you want the three yard bundle, not the fat quarter. And then here is a green and I see blues in that and Jackie would argue with me oh nope that's green <laughs> um, and, a red. and Arita both want the 370 um, three yard bundle are there two of those um, there are four of those okay good yeah yep, we've, we have them and there's just two of these I'm sorry, I said two. There's only one. Tricked ya. Okay, but there's that one that matched it. 
I'll show you. This one has these colors. Three, can you see that? Yeah, a little closer maybe. Closer? Well, <laughs> it doesn't show all of it though. It, it won't show them all? Well. There. <laughs> yeah. On my face. <laughs> Who needs to see my face? Nobody. Okay, so here's, wait, I did that backwards. Does that help? So here's the two mm -hmm. different bundles. And then we don't have those colors anymore, so yeah. that's it. So both of these are one of a kind, and we don't have anything to replace them. Okay, get these put down. Which is true of most of these three yard bundles and the fat quarters. The, those those fabrics we we may or may not be able to get most likely not yeah so most of these are something we won't be getting back in stock okay here, we have two of these available looks like um, salmon colored branches with the brown background number 499 three yard bundle and then we have like constellations on a Navy, deep navy or midnight blue. With and it's got that same uh, light brown color in there. In the this one. See, look, you see the light brown that's in the in the um, constellations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then this pretty floral with a tan background and a midnight blue floral. Here are, here's what they look like, and it's $4.99. Three yard bundle. And Doreen Heston uh, said sold bundles three eighty eight dollars and four thirty nine. dollars Okay. I will set that aside for you, Doreen. Both of those. Okay, and then next one is number 253 we have three of these available also don't forget to share with um hashtag batik fabric all one word to be entered into the drawing this is a brown with uh with kind of a rusty brown don't play with it floral and then a buttercream with a light brown floral. And then we have our Wedgwood blue. Would you call that green? I call that grayish blue. <laughs> yeah, it's a little grayish. But... Yeah, it does have some gray in it. And then yeah, that one has browns. more blue in it than most of the greens that you show. <laughs> Just testing you there. How okay. do you like the co the color combinations that we're doing? Two fifty. Could you comment on it? And let me know. Two fifty three for a three yard bundle, thirty six dollars. And then it's three. And there are three of them available. Like we said, once they're gone, they're gone. Ooh, I love this one. I mean, I pretty much love them all, but here's 207, three of them available. It's a blue background with the tan and yellow floral. And then we have our bluish gray and floral. Should we, we mention the giveaway again? What? Should we mention the giveaway again? Oh yeah, I just did, but oh, can okay. just a tiny bit. Yeah. Okay, and then brown with yellows and brighter browns. So all three together. Dun dun dun. 
Number 207, and there's three of them. We had a lot of fun um, putting all these colors together. That's 307. Were you going to say something, Jackie? Uh, I was going to say, if you have other friends that you can think of to share with, we'd love for you to share. Uh, we've got, we need to get it up to 50 viewers. Okay. What are we at? Uh, don't know for sure. I don't know. Does it say on that? 12. Oh, okay. Yeah. 412 is this one. We have four of them. Aren't those pretty fall colors? And then, ooh, we saw that one in the Christmas package. And last but not least, the dark brown with the green and yellows and so forth. So all together, we have four of them. It's number 412, one yard bundle for $36. I mean, sorry, three yard bundles and one yard of each fabric. And there we go. How are we doing on time? We are at one hour. Right oh. this week. <laughs> one hour. Okay, I think we're gonna stop there and wrap this one up for today. But we're gonna do another live. We decided not to do it on um, election day because that would be kind of silly so we're gonna do it November 5th at 4 o'clock like normal but it'll be a Thursday instead of a Tuesday and we might fit in a few other lives here and there um, they could be a little shorter a little longer um, so I'll just kind of surprise you with those so be sure to sign up for our notifications to get the word that we're going live because I'm kind of a spontaneous person and I just kind of um, do it when my kids are quiet or we don't have something going on so sometimes I just try to fit a little bit in and what were you gonna say I was just gonna um, it does anybody have any questions or does anybody want to see something again yeah are there any um, items that you want to see again or do you have any questions for us or if you saw something at another uh, live you can let us know if you want to see something else you know that you saw before yeah we have we have some of the items from for from other lives we're about to um, deactivate the what I usually try to do is make a photo album of each of the items that we showed during this sale and we've got several up right now and so I'm gonna go ahead and deactivate those so that people don't get confused um, but if there's something you purchased before or that you want that you saw in one of those albums then um, by all means we'll try to find it for you we could probably leave it up for another <coughs> couple of days so they can look in those albums. Yeah, we'll leave those up for a couple more days. You just go on, on our Oregon Patchworks page on Facebook and then um, click photos. And then when it, the top little banner will be um, photo albums and then you cl click see all and that's where you'll be able to see the live photos. There might be a few that are that are not in stock. But yeah, some and I don't think I cataloged the very first live there might be one or two lives that aren't there but that's what we have right now and what were you going to say Sarah? Oh um Ramona Collins said where do I sign up for next time? Okay um so we have a we'll go ahead and amend our description and put the link for the, the sign up form it's a google form and so we'll um put you on the list to give you a notification we always try to send out a one hour warning and then um, a 10 minute warning that we're about to go live but also if you're on facebook um, click on the bell that asks you if you want to see our lives so hopefully you'll see that somewhere it shows up in different places on different devices and then um ah.
Did Gwen, Gwen Settle said, you showed a B town, right? Okay. Right, a brown. <laughs> oh, oh, brown. Oh, brown. Right before you started the Family Corner Cafe. Oh, yeah, that, that solid brown. I'll get that on the bottom there. It's on the bottom of the stack, so Sarah, could you help me with that? Yeah, she said it might have been 418. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go to that side. Any other questions? Okay, so that, yes, you're right, when it's 418, mm. this is a solid brown, half yard minimum when, when we're doing the boats. So. Any other questions? Um, we love to do giveaways, so keep sharing and get our lives bigger so that we can keep doing that for you every live. We'd love to do that. Uh, Ramona Colin said I did click on the notification. Okay. Oh, you clicked it? Ramona? Is that what she said? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Yeah, that's how you're able to get the notification. I think it only tells you right when we go live, but if you fill out that form, it'll give us your contact information and then it'll also um, let, we'll send you out a one hour and a 10 minute reminder. So, anything else? Um, Gwen wanted a half yard of okay. 14. Great, does so anybody else have questions? Don't want to leave you guys hanging. Got to tell you all the good stuff. Sorry, Bonnie, about making the mistake on your order. <laughs> and you said you liked that other fabric too, though. <laughs> yeah. Is this the one you got, Bonnie? <laughs> I think you got this one instead of what you ordered. And that is the brown. And it, yes, we will take care of that for you. This one was number 99. I'll just add that to this sale if you guys want that. It's number 99. Okay. Well, I had fun. Hope you did too. I didn't get to do the hokey pokey this time, but I did do a little bit of a hula hula dance at the beginning. Sylvia, so, if you go ahead and just um, put your, that which, what you want sold. and say sold. Yep, sold in capital letters, so we see it And well. then the number. And then the number and then the yardage, whatever cut it is. And then we will give a link to where you can give us your contact information. And if we have um, Fran, what was her name? Fran that won the giveaway last time, we never got your contact information. So if you're listening tonight, um, could you please private message us your contact information. That would be really helpful to us. So, and as always, just be sure to look at organpatchworks.com. That's the main site we have. We're still working on our fabric end of things and pretty soon we'll have a shopping cart ready for you guys to be able to get some of these um, anytime you want, not just on the live. But it's always fun to party together, so. We probably won't stop doing that. And I think Sarah saw another comment. Was there something else? Thanks, Gwen. We really appreciate your participation and everybody. I hope we, uh, we hope, really hope that you enjoy these mm -hmm. and we hope we get better at them. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna also put them up on YouTube and you can go back and listen again and, and Angela will take pictures and put them on our Facebook so that you can see what the numbers are. And if you wanna order at that point, you're welcome to just contact us and let us know what you want. Yeah. And we'll be glad to, to set them aside for you. 
Yeah, and we're not going to keep that open for a long period of time, but we will, you know, we haven't decided exactly where to cut it off, but we've already run into it being a little bit hairy when we, two weeks later, somebody wants something from a previous live, and it's kind of a scramble to figure out if, because, you know, like we said, sometimes we re reorder the bundles and things like that, so we get them all resorted and it um yeah so but yeah so to. so the ones that are the pictures that are up there right now um we're gonna leave them there for uh, uh another 48 hours or so and then we on on this one we'll leave it up for it for uh let's say three days okay after each show we will leave up the, whatever the the that we showed you for three days and you can go in and keep ordering at that point. Okay, great. And Irene put the link of where you can register your information. So then we'll have have Yay. it, um, and we will contact you and let you know when the next shows are. Yay, Irene! And you know, if you call into our customer service line, which is five four one three five nine zero eight. Seven nine, you'll probably speak directly to Irene, and she's great with customer service, and she'd be happy to help you with anything. Yep, and we're a family business. Angela is my daughter, and Sarah is my grand uh, my and, granddaughter, and, and I'm Jackie, Jackie, and I'm not going to show you my face <laughs> yet. <laughs> Jackie is my mom, and Sarah is my daughter, and and mom, my mom Barbara uh, lives upstairs, and she uh, does the the shipping labels and all that. And then Irene is our is my cousin. <laughs> so yeah, it's truly family run and operated. So we really appreciate your support, and I hope everyone's doing well through the pandemic. And hopefully, your wherever you live has opened up a little bit, so you have the ability to go shopping and do some of the things you want to do. And but keep safe and. God bless. Yep. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Buy some machine embroidery designs on Oregon Patchworks. Yeah. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Can you push finish? Yeah. Mm -hmm.